For then, God, no God, you lifted your hand, God. No, you lifted your hand and you said, God. Come on, you lifted your hand and you said, God will prosper me. And God will give me great success. Did you say that? Hello? You know, when I read this scripture, I jumped from my seat and I said, thank you, Lord. You know why? Because I always enjoy playing a game of skill. I never like a game of luck. They play a game called Aussie. Have you heard it? I never play that game. You know why? Because it's a game of luck. There's no skill. But if I play a game of skill, might be I lose the game now. But if I practice and practice and practice and I master it, I can win every game. And praise God, God is saying, this life of yours is like a game of skill. All you got to do is three things. And you will have great prosperity and you shall have great success in life. Hello, are you there? Did I give you a good news or a bad news this morning? But you are looking at me so sad. Hallelujah. God's word says, you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have great success. Imagine when I got touched by the Lord and my life changed. I remember in those days, I used to run after preachers. I would run after people and tell them, come on, lay your hands and pray over me and bless me that I have great success, that I have great prosperity. Because I did not know the truth. The Bible says, you do the first three things, prosperity and success is yours. Now, prosperity doesn't mean money. Prosperity means more than enough that you can share it with others, what God has given you. Praise God. Your health is prosperity. Everyday provision is prosperity. Your joy is prosperity. Your peace is prosperity. Your good relationship is prosperity. So in other words, God is saying that word prosperity means your victory in every area of your life. Isn't that great? Hello? Yeah, praise God. Hallelujah. How does it look? You want the last part in your life without fulfilling the first part. If you come across people, what will they say? Hey, pray for me that I become prosperous. Hey, pray for me that I get blessed. Hey, pray for me that I have great success. Come on, yes or no? No? Come on, let's be honest. But God's word says, that will come only if you do the first part. And what are the three part, first parts? The first thing he says, let my word not depart out of your mouth. In other words, every time you open your mouth, you speak what? Word of God. Okay, how many of you speak Tamil? I speak Tamil very fluently, but I don't understand it. <laughs> Praise God. Now, if I speak Tamil, Hama, Apriya, Sariya. Now, if I speak Tamil fluently, you will ask me, is that your mother tongue? No? Yes. Come on. What, what language do you speak? What's your mother tongue? Tamil. And what's your father's tongue? I am always, uh, wherever you go, you will ask, what's your mother tongue? And what about the father tongue? You know why? Because according to the word of God, there are two fathers. One is the father of heaven and one is the father of lies, the devil. And God's word says to Joshua, you must learn the father's tongue of heaven. And when you learn the father's tongue of heaven, you have to speak the father's tongue of heaven in a mother tongue. Right? Hello. For example, I am speaking the father's tongue in a language called English. You can speak the father's tongue in a language called Tamil or Malayalam 
Akhanara or whatever. Right? Right? Now, if you speak Tamil, have you learned Tamil by heart? No? If you do not know it by heart, how will you make the sentence? Is it right? So, in other words, if anybody says that I belong to heaven, then you must know the language of heaven and the language of heaven is the word of God. Praise God. Now just check in your life. In a whole day when you speak to one another, what language do you speak? God's language or the language of the world? What is the language of the world? Anything that is contradicting to God's word is the language of the world. Do you have any pain in your body? God wants to show you the healing. Come on, anybody over here? You? All are healthy here in Nagar Koyal. I, I know it rained a lot. That's why everybody got healthy. Hallelujah. You know, you know why I was asking? Supposing, supposing. She's saying, why are you picking on me? Okay, the next one. Supposing you got some pain in your body. Let's say you got a leg pain. How do you pray to God? Nuns don't pray to God. You don't pray? Yeah, tell me. God, remove my pain. God, take away the pain. And I believe you will heal me. What about you? If you want, you please take away. <laughs> if you want, then please take away my pain. You remove my sickness. Huh? You remove my sickness from my body. You remove that sickness from my body. What about you? Please take away my pain. By the name of Jesus, then my sickness will go away. Ah. Okay, okay. You know, you know why? Hey, listen, listen. Please do not misunderstand me. I am not here to point finger to anybody. Okay? Are we all in the school of the Holy Spirit to learn the truth? See, for me, I see people coming out of the wheelchairs. I see people who are blind getting healed. I see deaf people getting healed. I see it every day. And that's because of the truth. Now all these four, all these eight people who said the prayer, was it according to God's word? She said, Lord please heal me. She, oh, you did not say anything. What did you say? <laughs> Same. Say, Don't bring, come close to me. <laughs> Don't come close to me. Talk from far. Okay. Hallelujah. She said, God, if it is your will, then heal me. Okay. Now, now, how do I know what's God's will? Supposing, supposing, there is a person, of a, a couple who has got a big property and the parents die. Who gets the property? Yeah, very good. The neighbor's children, very good. Who gets the property? Their own children. And when the children, let's say there are three children, the property is big, there is a document called the will. And this document is open only when the parents have died. And whatever they had desired was written in that document and according to that document, the children will get their share. Is it right? Come on, is it right? The same way God is saying, I have put my will in a document called the word of God. So whatever I have written and promised you is my will. So if God's word says in Psalm 103, please open. Read that verse number 3. He forgives. He forgives. All our iniquities and now did he say some or all? Hello, did he say some or all? All. So is it God's will for you to be healed? Hello. Do you go to a priest and say, Father, please pray for me. If it is God's will, then let my sins be forgiven. Do you say that? 
Hello? You don't go for confession? Then what do you say? Please, God, if it's your will, then forgive my sins. One line says, He heals all your disease. He forgives all your iniquities. Go to Matthew 8, 17. Let's settle with the will and then we go ahead. Matthew 8, 17. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying he himself took our infirmities and bore and bore some 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 okay let's go to 1 Peter 1 Peter 2 24 who his own self bore our sin in his body, in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes, by whose stripes are over. Hello, hello, hello. Just read it from the RSV. Read the last line. You, you, you now God's word says you have been healed listen listen carefully God's word says you have been healed and you are praying Lord heal me now in God's mind you have been healed because Jesus paid the price but in your mind I am not yet healed now question are you in agreement with what God has said in his word? Hello? Are you in agreement with what God has said in his word? Yes or no? God is saying you have been healed. You are saying Lord heal me. You who said you are healthy, no sickness at all. Do you go to God and say heal me? When you are healthy, do you pray to God, heal me? When do you say, heal me? When you are? So in other words, when you say, Lord, heal me, what are you saying? I am sick, therefore, heal me. Now, are you speaking in agreement with God's word or are you disagreeing with God's word? You are disagreeing with God's word. So anywhere when you are contradicting to God's word, you are not speaking the word of heaven. You are speaking a lie. Please don't get confused. We will study more deeper. I beg you, please do not close your mind. Praise God. And that's what God's word is teaching us. He is telling Joshua, you must learn to master your tongue that you no longer speak with what you feel but you speak by faith that's why the bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 7 that the just shall live by oh oh my god the just shall live by faith and not by sight the just shall live by Faith and not by sight. Now question. According to this child who said, God, if it's your will, then heal me. Is that prayer a right prayer? Now that prayer is not right because God through Jesus has already paid the price. So you mean to say, I cannot pray that prayer, what Jesus prayed in the garden of Gethsemane. Father, if it's your will, then take this cup of suffering away from me. Jesus prayed that prayer. Oh yeah, Jesus prayed that prayer. Because that prayer was a different prayer. There is a prayer of faith and there is a prayer of commitment. There Jesus was praying that God the Father, if there is any other way, that I can go and finish your plan of redemption, then let it be done. But here, God through Jesus 
has already paid the price let me put it this way let me put it this way your dad opened the bank account for you and he deposited 50000 rupees in the bank under your name and he gave you the debit card and you gave you, and you gave and he gave you the password and he said child whenever you require the money go and use the card with the password and you will get the money okay you got the card with you you keep it in your pocket and you call up dad and say dad if it's your will then can you give me 10000 rupees hello did you understand the difference hello did you understand the difference so whatever god has promised in his word is god's will for your life did you understand praise god now question every time you open your mouth do you speak in line with god's word or do you speak according to your senses hello which one do you speak ah uh, we speak according